Hey everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. So today is a bit of a different video. It's not about books. <laughs> so I thought I'd do a little bit of a get to know me video because I put a little bit at the end of my last video about my health and a lot of you replied saying that, like wishing me to recover soon and that you also care about the person talking about the books and stuff which obviously of course because I'm the same with my favourite um, booktubers and stuff so I have wrote some questions down I did look up on a few um, get to know me tags but half of them wasn't relevant to me when they was talking about like school and stuff like that because I left school many moons ago so I've wrote some of the questions down in my notebook got my trusty little notebook I'll jump in there's 30 questions I do have some book related ones but most of them are just little bits for you to get to know me a little bit better so my the first question is my name I know that sounds ridiculous but my name is actually Emma and I know this channel is called Cuddy's Bookshelf and my name is Cuddy because it is Emma Cuddy and my friends all call me Cuddy so that's why I chose to go by Cuddy on my booktube because I'm here to make friends so I want you all to call me of what my friends call me so yeah my first name is actually Emma and yeah that's our question so the second question is my other hobbies so hobbies that's not reading <laughs> which is my main hobby so I do like gaming, so my favourite games, as in like console gaming, my favourite games are Little Nightmares, um, Animal Crossing, that's my cosy game, it's my go-to, and Tekken is my all-time favourite game. Uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 is... <laughs> love it. Um, other hobbies is like tabletop games, so I love Dead of Winter. That's one of my favourite tabletop games. Um, I also love Warhammer, both the painting side and the gaming side of it. I'm not quite into 40k Warhammer yet. It's more the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit side of Warhammer. Um, I've got the set. Um, I like to paint them all and just live my best Warhammer life. Um, I also like jigsaw puzzles. I've got a cupboard full of jigsaw puzzles. I've got a cupboard full of tabletop games as well I'm just obsessed the next question is an easy one and it's favorite color my favorite color is orange um, I especially love like the burnt orange so think like pumpkins and stuff question four is my favorite music which I just wrote a couple down because I do like all genres of music so the ones that I'm listening to most at the minute is always Dolly Parton and um, Luke Combs BTS, Stray Kids, Taylor Swift, Motown, like Lionel Richie and the Commodores and um, Dinah Ross and the Supremes and all of that. I am just... Yeah, but I also like stuff like Linkin Park and Papa Roach and Paramore and stuff like that as well. So my range of music just varies. It's a bit like my book taste, to be honest. Um, favourite food is, like my favourite restaurant to go to is like Wagamama's, obsessed. I also really love sushi, I get very excited if I know I'm going for sushi. Um, and then my other taste, side of my taste, is I like pasta dishes and pizzas and stuff. Question six is my favourite drink, so I'm going to go non-alcoholic first. So I do like water, I like Diet Coke, I do have a lot of, one second. Lucasade Zero. I need the energy. I also love tea. My favourite tea is from Wittard's Tea Shop and it is the rose one. A black tea with rose in it. Absolutely amazing. Love it. First time I tried it was it came in a Alice in Wonderland um, set and I was obsessed and then I went back to the shop and they didn't have the Alice in Wonderland themed ones anymore but they did have, still have the tea that I liked in just their ordinary packaging. So yeah, highly recommend if you like teas. The alcoholic drinks that I like, I always drink like ales, lager, ales, and a cocktail every now and again, but who can afford cocktails? <laughs> so mainly like lager, 
when I'm going out because ales can also be expensive. But yeah, that's alcoholic beverages that I like. Um, my favourite holiday. So I am obsessed with Halloween and Christmas. That time, the end of the year is my favourite time of the year. I'm just obsessed. But if I had to pick one, it would probably be Christmas because I just love the whole the whole season of it. I like that people are more giving and kind and festive and cheerful and I love the cosy food that they get in supermarkets and it's just my favourite time of the year. I love the music. I love getting cosy and reading Christmas reads and <gasps> so excited. Phobias. Next question, if I have any phobias, I do. I have three. So I have a fear of needles, which you would think with all my medical problems and how many times I do have to have needles, it wouldn't be a thing. But every time I am a goner, I pass out. I get that anxious and nervous that my veins hide. So for instance, I had a blood test done on Wednesday and they tried to get some out of this arm couldn't they tried twice in this arm I couldn't they went into my wrist I don't know if you can see that or not but they went into my wrist they couldn't get none there and they went twice can you see the bruising they went twice in my hand and finally managed to get some so but by the time I had done all that they was giving me water and telling me that I need to sit down and wait for a bit after I had it done I'm like I just need to go home <laughs> my other phobia is of heights I, I I just can't do them. I've tried. My husband paid for us one time to go abseiling off this bridge and he was like, oh, it's not too high. We literally got there and it was an 80 foot bridge. And he was like, Tarzan, he was like swinging all over at shop. He was so brave and, but he's not bothered about heights. I took one look over the bridge, had an absolute meltdown, had a panic attack, um, was like, I'll give you the money back, yeah, I'll give you the money back, I can't do it, I can't do it, I'll give you the money back. The heights are just not for me, I just can't do it, I just can't do it, it freaks me out. No, no. And then the third one is wasps. I am petrified, absolutely petrified of wasps. Give me a tarantula any day. A snake, lovely. Wasps, no, no. No, 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 no. I always called them like Freddy Krueger's minions because obviously they've got the sting, he's got the claws, they've got the stripes, he's got the stripes. Mm. Thing of nightmares. No, 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 no. I actually nearly moved out of my house last summer because we had a wasp nest in our loft and no, 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 no. Next question, <laughs> um, how tall am I? So I am five foot three and a half, the half matters. I am five foot three and a half. I was five foot two for the longest time and my in-laws took me to one of my hospital appointments a few years ago and they was like, oh, you're five foot three and a half because I automatically said that I was five foot two. And they was like, oh, you're five foot three and a half. And I literally came out of the exam room and went into the reception and I'm like, where, they, where my in-laws were waiting and I was like, I'm growing an inch and a half. But yeah, five foot three and a half. Uh, the next question was, what is your talent? I would say my talent is like making other people happy, like making them smile, making them laugh. I very much am an awkward person. So when people cry, I have a, like a, an awkward laughter about me. So I always try and make them laugh. So that's my talent. The next question is a talent I wished I had. And this one is, sounds really weird, but it's to socialise without regret. So every time I go out, so say if there is a workout in or I'm just in a big group of people, birthday parties, anything like that, the next day I have regret. Like, did I, did I offend anyone? Did I say anything wrong? I wish I didn't have that. I wished that wasn't a thing. Like that is 
something I wished that I could do is just go out, have a good time, and the next day was like, "Want it a great night?" But right now, that's not that's not me. Yeah, it's great to have. The next question is the best compliment that I've ever had, and that would be that I'm a nice person. I work every day to be kinder and nicer and I always want to be better than I was the day before and I think it's something that you can work on constantly is to better yourself and for someone to say that I'm a nice person or that I'm kind that is the best compliment you can give me because it's something that I strive to be yeah next one bad habits so my main bad, bad habit is being horrible to myself I am not very nice to myself. If people give me a compliment, I don't know how to take that. I normally be like, so say if someone's like, oh, you look nice. I'm like, you need to go spec savers. <laughs> like I can't take a compliment and um, I don't like myself. Um, and so I'm very harsh inside my head to myself all the time. And a lot of it is to do with um, having illnesses and stuff and like my body not doing the things that everyone else finds really natural to do and I get really frustrated with myself and I do take it out a lot on myself so that's a really bad habit that I need to break because I've already got enough going on I don't need to punish myself even more question 14 is favorite thing about myself my favorite thing is the fact that I am always willing to learn I always want to be a better person I want to learn about other things that would make others happy so for instance if I knew one of my friends or my husband had a certain hobby that I'm not into like I wouldn't get into that hobby but I would learn enough about it to be able to talk to them to hold a conversation about it and or random acts of kindness I like to do that um, just general always better in my trying to be better to others and be a better person I think we all should do that question 15 is how I met my husband and how long have we been together we've been together 17 years and we met because so I was leaving school and I had a bad experience at school um, and the same people that was at school was at my dance school and I, when I was leaving school I thought well I might as well leave my dance school as well because there's no point carrying it on after I don't have to spend any time with, with said people so I left my dance school as well as leaving school generally and from there I said to my sister I was like well I'm gonna gain loads of weight now because like I was keeping weight off from dancing and she was like why don't we go to the gym and then we seen a article in newspaper um, advertising for this gym's like open weekend and we went had a great time joined the gym and my husband was my gym instructor <laughs> so yeah that's how we met he was my gym instructor and we got to talking swapped numbers went on a date and the rest is history we are now married with a dog and a house so the next question is question 16 and it is children because I know I know a lot of people nowadays don't ask the question about children but I think because I've mentioned my husband and how long we've been together and the fact that we haven't got children yet or ever will is going to be a question that people's going to want to know I had something called endometriosis I didn't know I had this I always had really really like heavy periods and stuff sorry if you're watching this and you don't like talking about these things but this is what you get when you have children <laughs> so I had endometriosis and I suffered three miscarriages throughout the years and eventually I'm not getting to everything but eventually I went to the doctors about it ended up going to the hospital I had my first operation and I had whilst they was 
looking around they seen that I had endometriosis they removed it while there was in there and that is the reason if you watch my last video that is the surgery that I had um, where I lost the sensation of needing a wee and I had all my bladder problems um, and after that I had they, they removed the endo and ha I had constant bleeding all the time to the point where I had to go to the hospital every was it every two weeks I think it was every two weeks two or three weeks um, and had these injections these injections stopped the bleeding but it also forced you into like clinical menopause so I was put on HRT for that and eventually it it came that um like I couldn't have children I ended up having a full hysterectomy and so I'm incapable of having children so it's just not a thing during all of this is when I got Bean my dog and she helped me heal she's my everything she's my little girl so yeah no children for us and yeah that's that in a nutshell because I don't want to get into everything so yeah no children question 17 what is the top of my bucket list so I have had this dream how long for as long as I can remember since very very young and I have always wanted to travel to Japan always I have wanted to I've always wanted to do two different I mean if I went and did the two sides together but separated like a week doing one and a week doing the other so I have always wanted to go to where they um, draw the manga and everything and you can go around the studios and have a tour and like the main um, cities and where there is all of your anime stuff and that like the popular tourist bits but I've also wanted to do the countryside of it and like follow the cherry blossoms and it just is just a dream I would love to go to Japan absolutely love it but it's not realistic at the moment maybe in the future hopefully one day but it has always been the top if I went up to anyone that I know and said what is my dream to do my mum and my husband and everyone would just say go to Japan <laughs> and that and that's that because I've always been into um like manga and anime and stuff for for years and years and years and I can actually remember in fact do I still have it hold on so I have the Neo magazines they get delivered every month but hold on this is going to be a full circle moment hold on where are you so I've saved so this is the M Y M Y M magazine. So this started co coming out, and I got it from like the first one. But I've generally got rid of them now. I've got all of my neo ones that I still collect. But this one was when did this one come out? Should say a date on it, shouldn't it? May. This is so this magazine came out May uh, twenty fifteen, and. And it says, A Newbie's Guide to K-Pop. And look who's down there. This is when I first ever, ever seen BTS. This is, this is what they look like when I first ever seen them. It was in this magazine and then I started listening to them and... Yeah. Bantan. But yeah, I've been into it for years. Evidently, I've got magazines from my 
forever. Um, I also want to travel to Korea um, because of what I've seen of like like the scoots on BTS and stuff like that. It just looks amazing and I'd love to go. <sighs> right, next question. Um, there was a question that said name three short-term goals. So my short-term goals would be to recover and rest once I've had my next operation. Um, would be to make more book friends. So that is a, a goal of mine for the long run to keep at it now and hopefully make some really good friends online. And my other short-term goal is to lose weight. I'm currently 12 pounds, minus 12 pounds off now in five weeks. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly. And then it said, um, name three long-term goals. So my long-term goals is to be financially stable because obviously with having operations and time off work and stuff, it does not help. Yeah, later on in life, I'd like to actually have, be financially stable. I'd like to be healthy and I'd like to be happy. That is my main three goals in life. <laughs> um, question 20, cats or dogs? Dogs, as much as I love all animals, I would never say no to a cat, but I am a dog person, 100%. Beans everything to me. Biggest accomplishment, this channel. Um, I never thought, that I would ever have the confidence to start a booktube. So I am really, really proud of myself for putting myself out there. I am getting more confident. I am still trying with the editing. And sometimes because I film on my phone and I don't have a camera yet, um, it is something that I want to save and get in the future, but I film everything on my phone. So sometimes, I will press stop for filming and then like I'll turn my head because my camera, if you put your hand up, it will start filming. So sometimes I will press stop and then I'll like, I'll turn my head and it, I not realise, like if I'm going to put books away and I'm not realise and I've got so much footage where it thinks the side of my face is my hand. So it will start filming and I've got, uh, <laughs> I have so much footage where I'm just randomly talking to myself and I'm like, <laughs> oh. But yeah, this channel, 100%, I'm, I'm getting a lot better, hoping to get even better. And the you guys that actually comment and watch my videos are just, you're just so lovely. You're so, so lovely. And thank you so much for all of your kind comments on my last video. I really, really appreciate it. It really, really made my day. All the well wishes that you sent me, it just melted me. So thank you so much and you inspired this video because you wanted, you said that you cared more about me. So I thought I'd get to know me a bit better. Question 22 is my biggest role model. So my mom is a very big role model for me and Audrey Hepburn and Dolly Parton. There you go. <laughs> Audrey Hepburn is just so inspiring and the way that she used herself as a way to spread awareness and was like an ambassador for UNICEF and it's just goals, it's just goals. And Dolly Parton, I think I use, I quote her the most when it comes to um, self love and giving others something to think about and yeah. Definitely. And my mum, she's just amazing. So I think she taught me how to go through difficult times and keep moving forward. So my mum's always going to be my biggest inspiration for that. Favourite movie? See, <laughs> no, if I'm into stuff, I am really into it. So if I'm into like a movie phase, I, I have loads. So picking a favourite movie and a favourite song or whatever that is like the hardest questions it's like when i mean it's not as bad if someone says pick a book because that's just impossible so favorite movie i'm gonna read off here because i did write some down is beaches with um bet midler in 
one of my all-time favourite movies. Love it. Best Little Whole House in Texas, Dolly Parton movie. Really, really amazing. Definitely watch it. Uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, again, Audrey Hepburn. Easter Parade, Fred Astaire and Judy Garland in an Easter Parade. Love it. I watch it. Me and my husband watch that every year on Easter or when my day off is around Easter. We always watch it as a run up to Easter. Um, Shakespeare in Love. Absolutely adore that film. And then movies like The Craft and anything by Tim Burton, um, Die Hard, Avatar movies. I could go on. I've got so many and don't even get me started on Disney films. Obsessed. Favourite TV shows. Here we go again. <laughs> so my all time favourite TV show is Friends. Love Friends. I have watched it a million times. The last episode, the last bit of the last episode, I cry and have to put the first episode back on again so I know that I can always go back. <laughs> I keep going round because that is my favourite. That is the first thing that me and my husband watched when we first moved in together into the house is Friends. That's, that's the box set that I unboxed first out of all the boxes. We watched Friends. Absolute favourite. And then I love like Gilmore Girls, Bridgerton, Our Planet, any animal documentaries really, but if it's got a David Attenborough uh, um, narrating it. Mm. Um, true crime documentaries, Obsessed, I Love Without a Trace and Rugrats, if you are from, so I'm 33, if you're from my era, you, you know the Rugrats. Um, favourite booktubers, so when I class someone as my favourite booktuber, I don't take it lightly because a lot of my favourite booktubers, a lot of the things that I've gone through like surgeries and when I've been in hospital or anything like that and I'm recovering I put booktube on and these were my saving grace when I was like bed bound or could hardly walk or whatever so my favourites are really really precious to me so they are <laughs> Jodie from Vanilla Moon, Cody from Cody's Book Corner, Steph from Steph Loves Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction, Jade from J.D. Ray Reads, Becca from Becca in the Books, and Gavin to How to Train Your Gavin. So I can remember waking up from surgery and then my husband had to go home and I put um, one of Gavin's videos on and I can't remember which one it was now. But I think it was one where he was like reading smart and... I was in the hospital room by myself and I'd just come round from like my hysterectomy and everything <laughs> and I was <laughs> watching it and I was laughing so loud that I was hurting my stomach so I was just like I need to calm down because they're gonna come in and be like are you okay <laughs> but yeah they all put a smile on my face and they have like amazing book recommendations so highly recommend all of them um Question 26. Most embarrassing memory. Oh. Oh, here we go. Most embarrassing memory. So, I obviously, we're, if you ha uh, know anyone with endometriosis or whatever, um, you bleed a lot. And my most embarrassing memory is going in for a shopping day with my mother-in-law in her brand new Lexus car. And it had cream seats not leather actual like suede material like really nice and you see where this is going and we went into the town and we had a smooch round on the way back i got out the car and i had blood everywhere and immediately i just burst out crying because i just wanted the ground to swallow me up I was like, if please just someone kill me now. Like, I cannot cope. I was mortified, absolutely mortified. And I cleaned it as best as I could. And she reassured me as best as she could. But I literally walked from their house to my house, absolutely sobbing my heart out. I was mortified. And I was like, I can never look at them again. <laughs> but, yeah, 
that was my most embarrassing thing by far question 27 advice for younger self so a piece of advice for my younger self that would be not everyone's gonna like you and that's okay don't change who you are to fit in because you're good as you are you don't need to be who they are to fit in you're good just be you question 28 favorite quote and this is from Dolly Parton herself and it's a quote from Best Little Whorehouse in Texas and it is if someone isn't smiling give them yours and I just really love that quote I, I think I have it on a bio somewhere maybe my personal one on Instagram or something but yeah I love that quote and, I, and it's very true question 29 last book you read and it was this woven kingdom by terry maffey really really enjoyed that i am currently on the second one these infinite threads and i'm really enjoying this one i'm not too far into it i'm only on chapter three but enjoying it so far and then the last question last but not least is what got me into reading and why i read so when I was younger, we moved around a lot. So I was always like behind on everything. I didn't even have books with words in at one point. I just had Fuzzbuzz books um, and they where you just make up your own story. And then eventually I moved up to like your Biff, Floppy and Chip books. And my first ever, and it wasn't until I was in my early teen like 13 12 13 11 12 13 something around no it wouldn't have been 13 it would have been like 11 or 12 and i actually read a thicker book this book to be exact and i read harry the poisonous centipede and it is but to me this was amazing because i read the whole entire thing myself and i was so proud of myself and then i sort of didn't stop reading i kept kept on reading to learn and to go on adventures and everything and i ended up so this was in 2001 is when i got this and they gave me a little i did actually brave and go in the loft now the wasps have gone my husband had to go up there first to make sure there was no because even a dead wasp i would spiral so he went up there first to make sure there was nothing there and i actually went upstairs in my loft braved it for this video because i knew this question was going to come and this is for english i got a little ankle high trophy for my um reading and everything in English and I was very very proud of myself and then after that I sort of stopped reading a little bit but more so because I had other things on my plate at the time and then I went through a bit of a difficult time and I started reading heavily and I used to go to the works and I know that everyone goes there now because they, they've started to get a lot more better like books in and um, more f like people's favourite books in for cheaper prices. But I used to go there years and years ago and they started doing... So I got a Dorothy Coombson book for Christmas from my in-laws when I was 16. And it was uh, My Best Friend's Girl. Loved it. Made me laugh. Made me cry. I think it made me laugh and cry on one page. Um, and I thought if a book can do this to you but I was completely lost in that book and it took me out of my situation and I was just living their lives and then I went into the works and I seen that in the three for six pound deal that that the works do they had a whole bunch of other Dorothy Coombson books and so I brought all all of them that I could over the weeks when I had six pounds spare and I just read her whole lot that she'd brought out at that time and I still buy them pre-order them now she is an auto buy author for me 
I am I have mentioned her a few, few times on my channel and then uh, obviously I had read like the Harry Potter books and they have been read to filth they I carry them or carried them around with me everywhere everywhere because I know them from back to front I could pick any of the books up if I was feeling anxious while I'm out I would just open a Harry Potter book and then I'd be straight in I'll be I'll be at Hogwarts I'm fine and that is why I continue to read so when I'm in a awkward situation or um, I feel uncomfortable or I feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack or it it centers me it brings me home so yeah that is why I still read and where I started from that's that's it I would love to say that I was one of those kids that um, read from being very young um, up until now but with what books have done to, done for me and do to me when I'm reading them I will forever be grateful for literature and my library that I have at home is a dream is absolute dream and I'm so grateful that I managed to be able to buy books and have these experiences and it's just great and it's just my passion I just absolutely love it and I'm so glad that I get to share it with you guys so thank you for watching my videos <laughs> but yeah that was the last question and I hope that you enjoyed this get to know me if you want to know anything else please leave a comment down below I will try and answer as many questions as I can and oh also speaking of answering questions you know if you ever comment on a video and I, I always get a notification to say you've commented but sometimes you no know, when I reply to you and then you reply back sometimes I'm not getting the notifications that you've replied back to my comment so if you if we're ever in a conversation and I haven't replied I don't mean to I'm not being ignorant I do apologize I just haven't got the notification that you wrote back so I have been trying to go through so if you have randomly got a message from me and it's been a few weeks since I last commented that's why it's because I've only just noticed that you commented back to me so I really apologize for that I'm not being ignorant I swear and um, but thank you for commenting and talking to me anyway and yeah just thought I'd mention that while I'm on a rant <laughs> but yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video I know it's a bit of a different one I'll be back to books on my next video and I hope that you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better um yeah I think that's it if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more from me please subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video bye <laughs>
I'm really crap with like I ran about. Don't even ask me when I got married. I do not know. I don't know. We eloped to get married because again, I don't like all the attention and stuff. So anyway, I think we've been together. <laughs> so I need a drink. Question 16, question 16. So, children, I had, how do I ask this question? This is number 38, do not, do not, is it the same side? It would be to, um, sorry if you can hear talking, my neighbours are getting work done on the house and they're just making noise all day, so, my bad, do apologise. That I would. That is so annoying. I'm gonna have to close that window. Hot flushes be damned. Hopefully that will drown them out a bit. So where was I? Cats or dogs? All animals. All animals. I'd have them all. Fred Astaire, and oh my god, why have I gone blank? Jude Garland, oh my goodness, that was a while. So Jade from, there's a wasp at the window. Okay, it's gone. If someone smart, if, that is not the quote, to be exact, to be exact. Not my notebook, I got it free with a game. So this is editing me. I'm finding, and I'm back in my um, Diet Coke stained top well don't judge me um i am finding this video so hard to edit just me talking about myself is making me cringe so bad i, I really don't want to like post it but i really want you guys to get to know me better and i can tell while i'm filming it that all of the erms and I'm constantly like fidgeting because I'm so awkward. Like, do I post it? Do I not post it? I'm gonna. Sorry if you can hear my fan. I'm hot flushing. That's why I'm sweating. I'm sorry. But I just. I don't know. I like this <laughs> but yeah I'm finding it really hard because I don't want people to think that I like I like talking about this <laughs> I need to take the advice that I said to my younger self and you know just be you see this is what i mean about social social things like social outings and that like, this is what i get like i'm like did did i say something wrong do i think but everything that i'm saying is true it's just editing it obviously i've got to watch it back to edit it and constantly talking about myself i just don't like it <sighs> 